Thank you. Well, Memorial Day, of course, it's the weekend for a lot of people because this is the three day weekend. I personally and all of the folks here at News Nation are happy for you. Uh, but a lot of people are traveling. There have been a ton of cancellations and delays, so not so happy. Uh, more than 1,600 flights were canceled on Sunday, with over 500 of those involving flights within, into, or out of the United States. Uh, that follows more than 3,800 flights canceled on Friday and Saturday combined. So uh, there have been more than 1,000 canceled this morning. The numbers just keep stacking up. I don't know if you've been doing the math. I can't do all that math that fast, but Ileana Diaz can. She joined us live now with more on the holiday travel disruptions. Ileana. Good morning, Adrian. Unfortunately, the frustration isn't over just yet. The numbers keep going up this morning. In the last hour, we've seen the number of delays go up 100. That means that in the U.S., there are more than 500 flights being delayed and already 300 cancellations this morning. It's been a hectic and stressful three-day weekend as more than 4,800 travelers had their Memorial Day plans canceled or delayed. It's been very frustrating to have to go find another hotel for a night buy new plane tickets. Uber. We spent $200 on an Uber all the way here. We've been spending a lot of money. I asked them at the service desk why the flight was canceled, and they said, we don't have crew. This weekend is the official kickoff to summer travel, and AAA was expecting nearly 3 million Americans to travel by air. Airports have been, been filled to the brim. Uh, airplanes were packed. The airline that was hit hardest, Delta. They canceled more than 400 flights on Saturday and Sunday, and 9% of their overall operations. Delta officials say they experienced heavy travel delays and were forced to shut down flights due to bad weather, air traffic control actions, and increased COVID. COVID cases. In a post, a Delta official says more than any time in our history, the various factors currently impacting our operation are resulting in an operation that isn't consistently up to the standards Delta has set for the industry in recent years. And if you plan to travel this summer, travel experts say this is what you should expect. Last week, Delta just announced they're cutting 100 daily departures starting in July through August. JetBlue is reducing their flight schedule by 8 to 10 percent, and Alaska Airlines will reduce their flights by 2 percent. Now, Delta officials say that they are going to be giving out vouchers to anyone who's Flights were affected by bad weather in southeast in the southeast region here. That's obviously been the case. It's actually raining right now. So unfortunately, Adrian, if you're flying in the southeast today, you may see more of those delays throughout the day. All right, Eliana. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.